we are approaching the climax of Otoka's story. He still believed that he would be a far better emperor than his archenemy Rudolf of Habsburg. So the peace of Vienna should not last long. Otoka, king of iron and gold wanted to try his luck one last time. Rudolf's power had not yet been consolidated and the king of Bohemia still had followers throughout the empire. He planned to destroy Rudolf in one single huge confrontation and invaded Rudolf's territories in Austria with all the strength he could gather. Afraid of the mighty king of Bohemia, Rudolf allied himself with the Hungarians and their Cuman mercenaries. The two armies clashed on a plain on the Markfeld. The best knights of Europe had gathered on the Markfeld on this hot August day. In their thick, shiny armor, they were ready to fight for the fate of the Empire. The hatred and envy on his rival Rudolf spurred Ottoka. He would destroy Rudolf and finally get the Imperial Crown. No one would be able to stop him this time. Otokar's mounted his horse, grabbed his sword and thought about the upcoming battle. He would kill his enemy Rudolf. Now or never. Otoka gave an impressive speech full of hatred for his enemy Rudolf and spurred his knights to give everything for the victory. Правильно. 
зыждительница. Да, не за руки. Зеждите. Приказание. Да. Правильно. А, не за руки. А с готова. Зыждительница. Здравствуйте.
sein, ja? Sehr stich hier. Sehr, sehr stich hier. Sehr stich hier. Sehr stich hier.
Otaka's horror, Rudolph was still alive, still standing on the ground. He raised his hand against the cloudless summer sky. Send the hidden reinforcements, he shouted. Attack their flank. The attack of the reinforcements hit the Bohemian Knights with full force. Otoko's army dissolved into chaos. Those who could try to flee. Otoko stayed behind on the mark field, surrounded by enemies, with tremendous anger and despair in his heart. When Rudolf later found Otoka's body, he began to whisper to himself. So you lie naked and unadorned, great king. The head placed in your servant's lap. And is of all your pomp and wealth. Not a poor blanket left for you. To cover your body as a shroud. The imperial cloak you are striving for. I take it off and spread it over you.
When the battle on the Markfeld was over, Ottokar's dreams ended in blood and mud. There was no longer a king of Bohemia. The battle for the imperial crown was finally over. Rudolf had Ottokar's body recovered from the battlefield and held a memorial service in Vienna in honor of his dead rival. He was now the undisputed ruler of the Holy Roman Empire. Rudolf was to establish the Habsburg dynasty, which would rule Central Europe for many centuries. Ottokar's widow Cunegunda continued her wild affair with the rebel Zavis of Falkenstein. A fight for Ottokar's legacy broke out in Bohemia, which eventually ended with Zavis being executed as a traitor. Even though Ottokar's name was forgotten, his legacy remained. The cities he founded and the wisdom of his edicts enabled a time of growth and prosperity in the empire. Most of all, you will take an important lesson with you. Greed had led even the best and strongest man to his sure end. Know that this is the true message from King Ottokar's luck and downfall.